So I just want to talk about the Buffalo shooting. Um, I actually watched the unedited version on this. Um, I'm not going to tell you guys where I watched it, but you can find anything on the internet if you look hard enough. So I was watching this Buffalo shooting. This guy, so this guy is a white supremacist and he has this manifesto. He has a 180 page manifesto where he talks about how whites are being replaced ethnically by blacks and other minorities and then he starts talking all this stuff about how white people are the victims and they're getting replaced in these countries like it's just a bit strange it's kind of like some neo-marxism it's kind of like some neo-marxism kind of stuff but um i read it i mean i read some of it in preparation for this video and then i watched the the full not the full footage you, you can't find the full footage on on the internet because it's, it, it cuts out at some point because he's he was streaming on twitch the buffalo shooter the guy that killed like 20 people or something like that he killed mostly black people because well, i'm gonna get to that i'm gonna get to that so the buffalo shooter <clears throat> he was planning this for months and months and weeks and stuff like this and then um and then he manages to get this ak this fucking ar-15 and AR-15 has like stuff on there like he wrote like numbers and words and the words all have meaning like even Andres Breivik you know the guy that killed like a bunch of people in Norway in the Norway ter terrorist attack he he said he said that he was inspired by him on the on on the gun he literally literally said inspired by Andres Breivik and all these are the white supremacist symbols and shit like that. And I'm like, damn, all right. And then dude's literally driving through the car like it's nothing. Like it's nothing. He's driving through the car. He's driving through the city. Like he's going to the store to go grab, to go grab some groceries. And then he... I don't know why I'm laughing. It's not funny. But I'm laughing because of the whole absurdity of the situation. He's in the car, he's driving, and then he's looking at porn on his phone before he kills people. Take that for what you will. Gets out of the car. He loads up the gun. He doesn't even load up the gun. The gun's already loaded. But, um, and then he shoots the first person he sees when he's got tr about to walk into that supermarket. Kills the white lady, then kills another person, shoots them twice in the head, then goes inside. Then there's people lying on the floor. He shoots them, kills them. Then he shoots one lady in the head just to make sure she's dead. And keep in mind, most of these people are black. The only person that he killed was that white lady at the beginning. That's the facts. You can literally go watch the video. But, um, yeah, man, it, it's, it's fucked up. Um, I don't really know what to say about that. It's kind of like, um, yeah, he killed, like, bunch of people it's regrettable you know stuff like that well i didn't do it he did the, he, he did the shit what, what the fuck is it is regrettable for me nothing nothing it's just that i don't know man i don't know you know there's a lot of questions that kind of go through your mind when you watch stuff like this why didn't they shoot back at him like they have guns right this is america right you can if you have a gun you can shoot back at him you know what I'm saying? Like, why would you just let him run through the whole place and kill people like that? And he's in police custody, too. They took him alive, bro. What the fuck? Bro, imagine if he was black. That dude would be dead before he even fucking... That dude would be dead before he made it that to that police station, bro. For real. <laughs> I'm just stating facts. Like, let's be real here. He would be dead before he arrived at the police station. Take that for what you will. Um, so he, so, so he, so he's walking in, I haven't finished my story yet. So he's walking into the station, not into the station, into the supermarket with this, with this AR-15. I don't know how many rounds an AR-15 gun has, like maybe hundred rounds, 150, 120, 200, something like this. And he has ammunition to like, to like reload and everything. The dude's just walking through the place and... 
And then and then suddenly he he's about to shoot this white guy, and he stops and said, "Hey, sorry." What? Sorry. What? <laughs> it it kind of makes you think, right? It kind of makes you think a little bit, like. So you just slaughtered like 50, 20 black people and then you come to this one white guy the manager and you don't kill him because he's white which is i'm happy he didn't kill him but then it's kind of like you think about it you kind of like trying to analyze the situation you try to analyze the you try to analyze it and you think okay wow stuff like that is actually happening wow wow that's that's actually how it is. That's how they look at us. Wow. Okay. I mean, I'm not actually surprised by this terror. What, what is it? What do you call that? It's a terrorist attack or something like this. I don't know. I think it's a hate crime, right? Because he's killing people that are black because they're black. He's not killing them for any other reason, right? He's not killing them because of because they stole a bag of milk from the gro from the store. They're, he's killing them because they're black. <laughs> Read his manifesto, dude. It's there. None of it's really original though, it's kind of like something that he copied off other people Not a very original guy Yeah, it was it was quite quite crazy man One of the ladies was actually trying to crawl forward to the exit And then he literally got the pistol out And put a, put a bullet in her head like and just killed her Like it was nothing Damn all those people killed and for what for what <laughs> for what what is what the fuck for what man it's crazy right it kind of makes you think sometimes like damn damn yeah man it kind of makes you makes you wonder even if you did nothing wrong and you're walking down the street one day someone could just put a bullet in your head because you're black that's the world we live in right now. Just how it is. But. <laughs> oh yeah, I mean, in some countries, obviously, there's less of a threat of that happening because there's not really that much of, there's not really a uh, readily available amount of guns in Europe, mostly America. This kind of stuff happens in America, right? Not really in other countries. It happens in France too, right? There's a lot of terrorist attacks in France. So, I mean, France, 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 <laughs> France, France, yeah, Fr France uh, has those problems too. Well, not nearly as much as in America. But yeah, man, damn, like, dude killed her because she was black. And then he killed the other lady too. No, he, he saw that she was groaning on the floor. Like, he already shot her, like, twice in the body, and he killed her afterwards, finished her off. Makes you think sometimes. Makes you think a little bit. It makes you think. It definitely makes you stop and wonder about certain shit. You know? Makes you think a little bit. Makes you contemplate things. But you know, stuff such as such is the way of life with the pursuit of happiness. <laughs> Uh-uh. <laughs>